Hey guys, I'm back with a new version of the machine, hopefully one that's better than the previous. Uh, in this version, I call it the black box version because after assembly it looks sort of like a box. Uh, I found a way to make things a little bit faster and a little bit more reliable, and I think it's just an improvement on the previous system. The good news is that it uses all the same electronic components in the previous system, and it uses the same software, so no changes there. There are some slight changes to the Arduino code, but that's real simple, and we'll go over that as well in a separate video. So I'll take you through the assembly of that and show you how it all works. Okay, what we're looking at here is the basic parts that are needed for this installation. And um, I've done a little bit of pre-assembly on this one. I've put the screws in already for uh, the, the motor and I've installed the inserts here and here, which are the M4 inserts. And I've put a sensor, which will be used for homing uh, as well. So it just, let me see if I can find, here's another version that has not had the installation done. So we have a couple holes there. Anyhow, so the basic concept here is we have a wheel with the gear and this wheel, let's see, will we'll take uh, Ida or, or brass pieces in here, we'll rotate around, have the picture taken here, and then we'll drop into the sorter here. So what makes this work is, and what, and what prevents the brass from falling through, I guess the core innovation on this was, was the introduction of a cam. So we added this cam that sits in a slot in the wheel and that allows it to hold the brass. And so that what gives tension on that cam is just a little extension spring. So when we add a piece of brass, you'll see that that cam will hold that still over the camera hole so that it doesn't fall through. So it's, it's completely captured there. Until it falls into the sorter. So that's the basic action for this. It's mounted to a mount here, which we'll do, and then it has a lid. So we'll, we'll go through the whole installation here. One of the other things, uh, one of the benefits in this design is also that you can quickly switch out cartridges just by changing out the wheel. So this wheel here is for nine millimeter. This wheel here is for five, five, six, two, two, three. And so it's really just opening the lid and dropping in the new cartridge. You have to push the sensor out of the way and you have to pull the cam. And that's the change out for switching cartridges. So I think that's pretty nifty. All right. So the first thing we'll do is put the motor on. That's pretty straightforward. Just make sure that you've got the wire uh, or the, the plug probably facing out or you have room to plug it in. I'm gonna point mine that way. Now the next part we'll put on is the gear. So you'll see it's recessed. I've already put the screws in it. And then you just need to line up those with two of the holes on the motor flange. Once the gear is on, we just need to drop in our feed wheel. Uh, let's 
do that right. So we'll push our cam out of the way. And just try to get this guy lined up with the gear. And what we should have is something that looks like that. All right, and then the last part is to uh, get the lid working, get the lid on. So there's two holes in the cover and then another hole for the screw. So how this works is we're just going to thread those in here and here. But be, you know, before we do that, we're gonna put the feed, the feed on. And so this is the feed chute or mechanism or whatever, it's not really a mechanism, the feed hole. <laughs> It just goes through here and then is threaded on the back side of this. I mainly did this, I could have printed this as one piece, but I mainly did it because it's easier to print uh, a, something on a flat surface than to have it suspended or try to do it some other wonky way. So this was the easy way to print it. Then I put those two screws in. Those don't need to be super tight, but the real idea here is that we can open it up and make a quick change on the caliber wheel if we want. Okay, and then one more part that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to install our camera. So we just thread that into that hole. Now the camera module is the same as the as the previous. So if you've already printed that, you'll be able to reuse that. Just unscrew it from your current and screw it into the new one. Finally, we have our our feed tube and that will that will drop down into here. And then the feed tube will just rest um, just above the, the, the height of the brass so that, let's see if I can show that. I'm not sure if that's going to show up. Probably not. You'd want it, if that's the top of the brass, you'd want it sitting here somewhere around in that area. Then you would just tighten down the torque screw here. And that, that's pretty much the setup, so it's fairly s simple. The last piece we need to install, there's not really any order you got to do this in, it is the actual pole mount. So that, that's this piece here. I've already put the wing nuts on there, and uh, you can see the two larger holes is going to mount in like this. Get those good and snug. There's one more little screw that we put here, and that's what keeps the lid. That's what keeps the lid down. And let's uh, let's mount it up. Okay, so this guy will just slip over the top of the pole. Loosen those up a bit. Oh, and I forgot an element. So, one other piece I have is a nozzle. So that nozzle I found it actually you get better action if you um, have a drop nozzle so it doesn't allow the brass to tilt it drops straight down so that's just a pressure fit and it also helps you to align to the hole so I'll just drop that in there okay 
And then I just have to align that nozzle with the center of this feed arm, which is done. I can go a little lower. A couple other things. I've started printing these bins and uh, mainly so I can get them around so they can fit, you know, around this circle. So um, they take they take a long time to print. They probably take eight hours, six hours a piece, depending on the quality. But that does make it nice. Um, I also got rid of the PVC. I started printing my own. I found the the schedule forty three quarter inch was just the wrong size to where the brass would turn sideways and jam in it. So I just printed these. They're thirty millimeter outer diameter and twenty six millimeter inner diameter diameter so they have two millimeter walls and uh, it seems to work really well so the last part is to put the Dillon feeder on and then the feed tube make sure I get that in the right order it's this way And that's pretty much it. Now we just have to hook up the motors to our electronics and our camera, and we're ready to start sorting brass. Okay guys, I hope you like this video and uh, are going to try this project out. I'll put the link to the GitHub project in the description of the video so you'll be able to access the new 3D resources that are available there. You'll find those in the CS7 folder of the uh, STL objects for 3D printing. Hope you have a great day.